one of these paintings is going to be wiped out, and it's this one. Why though? Let me rewind. So I started both paintings with a simple drawing, working mostly in geometric shapes for both of them. The one on the right, I paid a little more attention to the anatomy, trying to get the shape of the skull underneath everything. I did like the sketch on the left because it was a little cartoony, but in the end that didn't really work out. You can see a pretty big difference in how I'm approaching each painting. For the first try, the one on the left, I started from the background and worked in, slowly from the outside towards the more important features. I did the opposite on my second attempt, the one on the right. I started with the most important area, the face, and slowly worked my way outward. I'm using a limited palette here of titanium white, Indian yellow, naphthol red, and Mars black. So any cools I'm mixing are coming from the black. I'm just barely starting to get the paint onto the face on the left. But overall I've got a lot more of that one covered, so I think I was working a bit quicker. I did change up the color scheme in the second painting. But I think I actually like the first painting's colors better. At least on the skin. I like that yellow. The one on the right was becoming a little pastel. So the biggest problem I had with the first one was that the drawing just wasn't working for it. I know it's kind of hard to tell in this video, but I had a hard time getting the features to work together. So I approached it a little more carefully in the second try. So why wipe it out instead of starting with a different panel? Well, for me a painting has to be completely disposable. If I can't wipe it out, or throw it away, or destroy it in some fashion, then it's just too permanent, and too important. Okay, I don't want to live with the mistakes, and bad paintings take up space. And if I happen to take a video like this one, I have a record of the first try anyway. Now going in with some of that yellow that I liked in the first one so much. I'm using it for the lightest part of the skin. If I were to try this a third time, I would probably introduce more greens into the skin to contrast with that red. And a green with this palette would be some of that yellow with a little black. I like how that ear came out with a pink rim and sort of a yellow highlight shining out from the middle. So I hope this gives you the courage to wipe out a painting if you need to. If you painted it once, you should be able to paint it again, and hopefully it'll come out a little better the second time. I want to quickly thank my patrons who make videos like these possible. If you want to help support this channel, you can join me on Patreon. My patrons are the first to see my art. They also get early access to videos like these, and longer videos as well. I just put a few coloring pages up on Patreon for free if you want to check them out. I also have prints and merchandise available at the links below. Thanks for watching.